and welcome back to another hour of today. A beautiful crowd here on our plaza in Midtown Manhattan. I'm Laura Bush and I'll be your guest host today, Tuesday, April 22nd, 2008. From NBC News, this is a special edition of Today with guest host, First Lady Laura Bush, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. And there's something you don't hear every day with guest host Laura Bush, and that would make me her co-host. I'm Matt Lauer, along with Ann Curry and Al Roker, and I have to say it's an honor. It's it's really going to be fun to have you here for this half hour and this hour. Are you okay? I'm doing great. Thank you very much. This is really fun. Very yeah. fun. You did that here. so well that it's obvious that we are <laughs> that overpaid. We're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been obvious we're overpaid for a long time. Didn't take Mrs. Bush to prove that. By the way, can I say we ha you had a cheering section? Yes. I did. Can I say just across section. the way? in the so corner. What do you think, girls? How'd she do? Very good job. job. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> no hits, no runs, no error. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah. she's a natural at this. She slipped right into our routine. You gave her some tips a little later on, but she didn't seem to no, need them. No, no, no tips at all. I mean, we should talk to executive producer Jim Bell down in the That's control right. for a few Saw minutes. That's right. Saw that very interesting and, uh, control room. But the, truth, <laughs> yeah. but the truth is, I think that maybe um, being first lady has completely schooled you on what it's like to be in front of the camera. So we're going to have some fun. Yeah. This, is this will be yeah. very fun. Yeah. By the way, I just want to mention something. You were, you were here in New York last night preparing for your big moment here. That's right. Meanwhile, did you see what your husband was doing? I heard he was dancing. He was yeah. cutting the rug. He was cutting the rug in New Orleans. Uh, actually, take a look there. Now, what do you think of those moves? The shoulders. I think he's practicing to dance at his daughter's wedding. Ah. Yeah, there you go. And by the way, in all fairness, we should say that while this is a little of the light, I said, your, your husband can dance. We have another piece of tape, which is very nice, of the two of you dancing. So when the music's right and the mood hits him, he can actually dance. He can oh. actually dance. I or I don't know for sure. <laughs> <laughs> which leads me back into the other kind of tape we have. We put together kind of a compilation. That was New Orleans yesterday. And, and I think we've got some other examples over the past several yeah. months and years yeah. of him going. Yeah. Oh, dancing with the stars there. That's right. He danced throughout Africa. He danced on Malaria Day last year. And he there. He danced waiting for someone to come meet him. <laughs> That was fun. Yeah. That was very He's, fun. Yeah. He is fun. Meanwhile, is he, is he watching this live or is he TiVoing this for nope. later? I think he's probably TiVoing. He's, very, he's, very, <laughs> he's got other things on his plate. That's right. Meanwhile, on the agenda this morning, you're actually going to be talking. You already talked to us about the book you wrote with Jenna, a children's book, which sounds wonderful. It's called Read All About It. And we want to remind everyone, because I don't know if this was made clear enough, that a portion of the proceeds from that book is going to go to Teach for America and the New Teacher Project, which is obviously too great causes. Right, That's great right. causes. And, but and today is actually the launch day of the book, April oh. 22nd. And so. we should probably re mention again, this is your first book. That's my you first book. Something wanted to do is exactly. to write a book, and you've got more coming. But meantime, before you get to all that, you've got a lot more coming up in this half hour. What do you have coming That's up? That's right. We have a segment on twins, uh, which I think we'll find really interesting. <laughs> and Barbara and Jenna, my <laughs> daughters, will be joining us to talk about their own experiences. Also, we'll get a tour of our home in Crawford, which we built to be eco-friendly when we built it in 1999. And then we'll hear some more things about uh, what people can do to make their own houses green. Then we're going to cook up some New Orleans po'boys with <laughs> Chef John Besh from New Orleans. And last, we're going to be chatting with one of my favorite authors, R.L. Stein, mm. the author of the Goosebumps yep. books. He's a, a great author for boys to look for and read. And that must be nice for him. I'm sure it's a great honor for him to hear that coming from you. Yep. We look forward to all that.